Hey guys, this is the kale and lettuce bed. I figured today that I would harvest what was left of all the lettuces before they got uh, too bitter. A number of them have actually bothered to um, bolt. So I'm harvesting what I can and pulling out all the ones that have bolted. And then I'm going to end up mulching it with straw and add uh, a bit more of the dinosaur kale, which is this guy. Because on the east garden I have a whole bunch of them and they should do a lot better here in the front yard. As you can see, I can put a whole bunch here and then a whole bunch here. Also over here, these are those Mizunas that I uh, had a whole bunch of them and they went to flower and produced a bunch of seed heads on them. I was a bit surprised at the way Mizuna creates a seed, creates a uh, pea pod almost because on the tips of every single one of these were all those yellow flowers much like the mustard over here has and it ends up looking like a cactus with all these things which reminds me of growing up in Arizona I figured I have left these things out here just long enough to where all these things should be viable so right now I'm just going to uh, have them all here in this pile dug them all up and I'm just gonna hang them upside down and let the, the little pea pods uh, dry out and then I'll crack them open and put them in a jar and save them for uh, either fall or next year and uh, should be pretty good I think I've managed to get <laughs> more than a farm's worth here uh, urban farm's worth of seeds so that's one less thing that I have to buy now on to plucking out all this lettuce quite a big bushel there you go this is what happens when your lettuce bolts <laughs> starts forming these little swords <laughs> There is nothing more bitter than bolted lettuce. It's horrible. <laughs> There's a big cat. Hello, big cat. Come to help me, big cat. So far this is what I've managed to find that's still salvageable. Not quite sure what this pointy variety is. But then I have a red variety and a red variety, excuse me, a green variety and a red variety of romaine. And this curly type of green lettuce, which I actually prefer. Pretty big. This one's still good. Eh, maybe. Set you over there. Maybe that is better. 
pretty sure that one actually bolted. So you go in that pile. You bolted, so you go in that pile. And here you go. Whole bunch of heads of lettuce. Very heavy. Should work out great to bolster my plant totals. Hey guys, so here's what I got. Uh, came out to be about 12 pounds of greens that I harvested today. Uh, majority, of course, was the uh, various lettuces. They came out to be 9 pounds, and this is uh, 3 pounds of red Russian kale. I actually prefer this over the curly kale. And this is going to be a dinner this evening. I believe probably do uh, some sort of Indian variation on it. This right here is only about half of the lettuce. The other half of that nine pounds is out on the compost pile due to the fact that uh, it bolted. And like I said earlier, nothing's more bitter than bolted lettuce. Uh, this stuff is actually salad salvageable, although I'm not really sure how the heck I'm going to eat, you know, five pounds of lettuce, but, you know, it's a lot better than letting it just sitting in the carton and going to waste. Uh, now I have a bunch of space that's uh, free out in my uh, greens bed out there, so I think I'm going to transfer the dinosaur kale on the east side of the garden over to the front, that way it gets a lot more sun and uh, will be a lot more prolific. So I can continue to harvest cottages of kale, much like these guys. All right. Hope you guys are doing great out there and uh, you're having a great uh, gardening season. Happy harvest, everybody.